I'm coming in with a hard pill for all of you to swallow, so I hope you brought a drink with you. Level monsters are awful, and always have been, no exceptions. Level monsters were a weird series of cards that tried to introduce a pseudo-evolution mechanic to the game that failed miserably. So, for those that suggest that Yu-Gi-Oh! should have some kind of evolution mechanic like Pokemon... Is this your game? Huh? There are 10 series of level monsters, those being Armed Dragon, Dark Mimic, Horus, Silent Magician, Silent Swordsman, Mystic Swordsman, Ultimate Insect, Dark Lucius, Allure Queen, and technically Wing Karibo by naming convention, although it doesn't follow the conventional guidelines of the former Level Monster series. And each series of Level Monsters aims to resolve a specific effect that allowed the monster you control to level up into a bigger monster. This is an interesting case of the Law of Averages because every single one of these are absolutely awful. You some shit which I hate to say because a lot of these series of level monsters actually have some decent effects for their time, case in point being the Armed Dragon and the Horus series. And their four supporting spell cards did little to assist them in any respectable way. Level Up, a normal spell card, allowed you to bypass the requirement to level up the monster you control. What a godsend. Level Down, a quick play spell card, does exactly what its name would imply by returning a level monster you control to the deck to special summon one of the lower level monsters from your graveyard. Level Modulation, a normal spell card, lets you cheat out any level monster from your graveyard, which sounds good. But aside from the fact that the monster cannot attack or activate its effects, you let your opponent draw two cards to activate this card when you could have just forfeited the game. And finally, the Graveyard of the Fourth Dimension, which sounds like it should be DD support, but actually supports level monsters for some reason, is a normal spell card that lets you shuffle two level monsters from your graveyard into the deck. Sensational. So that's all pretty useless and seemingly unsalvageable. But I like a good challenge, and today my goal is to attempt to fix this terrible series of cards for the maybe six or seven fans the decks have all together. And once again, I'm back to doing Konami's job for them. My resume is in your mailbox, Big K. Stop ignoring me. My first card is a quick play spell that I made in an attempt to mitigate the detriment of opening only the higher level monsters in each series. Level Selector Board. Reveal one level monster in your hand. Special summon one level monster from your deck whose level is lower than the revealed monster, ignoring its summoning conditions. Then, shuffle the revealed monster into your deck. The special summon monster cannot be destroyed until your opponent's next end phase. If this card is in your graveyard, if a level monster you control is targeted by your opponent's card effect, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, negate that effect, and destroy it. This, at the very least, aids to leave you with your rear end at least partially covered while you start to set up your evolutionary line. You don't necessarily have to sit on it and wait to level up, either. At the very least, it's a free summon of the mid-level LV monsters in your series and can be used for whatever extra deck shenanigans you fancy. And the last effect is simply some in-theme protection that each series of level monsters desperately needs. And on the subject of a desperate necessity, my next card is a monster card that I've always said level monsters should have had if they hope to see any level of competitive success. Yes, the different series of level monsters were clearly never meant to be played in a deck together, but with this new card, you can have the best of every world. Level Technician, a level 1 dark machine with 500 attack and defense, and the following effect. You can reveal one level monster in your hand, special summon this card. You can only special summon one level technician per turn this way. If you control no other monsters when this card was summoned, you can special summon one level 4 or lower level monster from your hand or deck. Once per turn, you can send one level monster from your deck to the graveyard. This card copies the sent monster's name and effect until your opponent's next end phase. Oh baby girl, the machine duplication synergy is off the charts. Clearly this lets you set up your evolutionary line at any stage and in combination with something like machine duplication also lets you establish multiple lines at once, as opposed to relying on a single monster surviving. And you can do this with any series of level monster. And then of course, a fair amount of graveyard setup never hurts. Finally, because this is modern Yu-Gi-Oh, no archetype is complete without their very own Solemn-esque Omni-Negate counter trap card. Overload Level Modulator. 
activate only when your opponent activates a card or card effect while you control a level monster. Negate that card or effect and banish it. Then, special summon one level monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard with the same name but a different level than the monster you control, ignoring its summoning conditions. I know, I know, it really is a good one. But that is my showcase for three cards that I would create to fix the laughably unplayable series of level monsters. And what I want to see now are your ideas because there are plenty of characteristics of each series that I've left untouched. So. Let's see what you all can come up with in the comments down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, as always, guys. And until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV, signing off. And then Garuzis and Hornimp are going to claim our first victory. So we got the W, boys. We're doing all right. And then I think we should have time for one more game before we, uh, before we wrap up this first episode.